party to be taken by anybody, no matter his political size or weight. This actually makes, makes me believe that there is a very big fundamental problem with the so-called made in 1986 political group or model. These Bush war people, people who came to this country through the Bush, seem to be behaving the same way. Who have over time proven to be the same. Everything, everything Ugandans know about Mr. Museveni, Colonel Kizabeske seems to be three or two fold of it. Up to now, as we all know, Mr. Museveni has never dreamt of life outside the presidency. With more ambiguities on the succession plan, which we are really calling on him to begin talking about. It's worse with our brother Colonel Besige, for as long as he is not the leader of this party, or has a proxy here in Ajanangumbi, or any anti-government organization, the country and the entire world has no person that can serve better than him. And this is where the problem is. Underlooking others, undermining others we have lived with this here in the FDC we have dealt with this here in the FDC but by and large we have marched on unabated some of the things that hurt the group in Katonga is the fact that we have managed this FDC party to progress, to prosperity, taken it to the country without them. They never imagined a time when an election would be conducted without them at a certain level of success registered. But we made a statement to them in 2021 that without Dr. Kisa Besige, without Lukwago supporting what we're doing here, we still could participate in an election and return results. And I want to take this opportunity to congratulate our friends who are committed to the party, who have resisted the confusion caused by our friends in Katonga and stayed steadfast in the activities and support for the party. You will recall that according to Dr. Bessie, General Muntu was bad for the party and therefore branded a mall and had to be hounded out of the party. And I want to say something a, a little bit about this. I was in the center of this all as a candidate. And my team dis began to foment this rumor. And I asked Ingrid, are you sure Muntu is a mall? And she said, without any shade of doubt, he is a mall. Poor man was harassed here. Dr. Besge and his wife, Dr. Winnie Kiza, I mean, uh, Winnie Bianima, came here, harassed Muntu, wanting him to resign. At an appropriate time, we will attend our apology to Muntu on behalf of those people. Now, even me, who succeeded General Muntu, Together with the Secretary General, Honorable Nathan Nandala Mafabi, when we refused to serve the interests of, Do General, I mean of uh, Dr. Besky, when we refused to be his stooges, we branded all sorts of names, 
like sellouts, Engata, Ebikoko, and all other tribes of names that one can ever think of. I can assure you that even in his political, even his current, even his current political peg boys will fall out with him should they attempt to be independent minded. They are this breed of politicians who hate people who have got political independence and reason objectively using their brains. They want to control people. And this is something that we rejected in the FDC. And it has caused some of the problems that we have endured. The world, the country and the world can now see for themselves that the allegation advanced by Dr. Kizabeski against the leadership of the FDC were intended to tarnish the Secretary General and myself out of selfish personal considerations. We saw how the team was busy discrediting the leadership of the party, yet this, yet this group is even more questionable than those they intend to blackmail. Clearly, Dr. Kiza Besge has surrounded himself with characters of questionable reputation, knowingly, but has kept silent for his own political expedience. We'll now examine some of these people without fear of ever. 